I saw three guys in a washing machine on a moto. Um, I, I want to like have a blog or a book about the things you just see on motos. I think it's unbelievable. And you just sort of, after a week, you just go, okay, that's just Cambodia. <laughs> I spent the year uh, working with some floating communities on the Tonle Sap Lake in Cambodia. Um, and we were developing sanitation solutions and some, also some energy solutions for, for those communities. The problem was probably actually best framed by or the school principal on the floating school, which is really cool. And he said, we spend too much of our income on healthcare and they don't have a lot of income. And you know, they're spending quite a lot of that on, on healthcare and just on basic preventative things. Um, so the challenge that we were presented with was to come up with some sort of sanitation solution that was appropriate for the sort of very dynamic nature of the floating communities. Where, where we took it while I was there was we actually went into a prototype phase and we trialed 14 um, floating toilets in the community and got their feedback. Then through the year we actually took it a bit further. So we um, came up with an idea with the community to build a, a barge to keep the waste for the six months and on the side of that we built a few gardens where you could recycle the waste into a fertilizer and grow vegetables for the community as well. What I really found was that building the, the personal capability and the, and the people in Cambodia and building there, giving them a bit of confidence and planting a little seed in their mind of what's possible was way more important than the technical stuff we did. Yeah, it was really just about, it was about the people. When I went, I felt like I was going over to help people, but in reality, I think I probably took more away from it than, than I gave because I'm so much, a, I'm a so much better engineer, I'm so much a better person than I was before. And I can think I can solve much bigger problems. So the companies that do allow their you know, their young employees or their old employees even to go away for a while, I think are really building their people in a, in a very good way.